Uh, first, uh, thank you so much, Liz and Yohai, for all of the work that you've done to pull off this conference. It's really amazing. When you think about a student-run conference, sometimes you might think that would uh, give you fear and trepidation. Uh, not, not at all. It's, it's well beyond, I think, what anybody else could have done. Uh, and so thank you so much for all the, I know the work that you put into this and um, it's, it, its success is due so much to your work, so thank you. I'm Brian Murray, I'm the director of the Duke University Energy Initiative, which is an interdisciplinary hub for energy education, research, and engagement on Duke's campus. If you wanna find out more about us, check out energy.duke.edu. It's not really an advertisement for the Energy Initiative that I'm, why I'm here, I'm here to introduce our first speaker. Um, in addition to welcoming you, so welcome to everybody, uh, I have the distinct honor to introduce our opening speaker, Duke University President Vincent Price. Just last month, on a quintessentially beautiful fall day in Durham, North Carolina, Dr. Price was inaugurated as the 10th president of Duke University. He's also the Walter Hines Page Professor of Public Policy and Political Science in the Sanford School of Public Policy in Trinity College of Arts and Sciences here at Duke. Prior to coming to Duke, President Price was the provost at the University of Pennsylvania, where he became well-known and well-respected for his innovative endeavors in interdisciplinary education and research, and for expanding Penn's global presence. He was instrumental in the development and advancement of Coursera, the online learning platform now used by many major universities. President Price is a leading global expert on public opinion, social influence, and political communication, these are all skills that are in great need for any university president. Um, he is the former editor-in-chief of Public Opinion Quarterly, the leading journal of public opinion research in the world. Vince, his wife Annette, and their now famous dogs Cricket and Scout uh, moved to Durham this summer, and by all accounts, he really appreciates the short walk between the Hart House, which is where the president lives, and the Allen Building, which is where he works, compared to what I think he described as a 45 minute commute in, in Philadelphia. So a lot of good reasons to come here and apparently that's one of them. So let me, let me just add finally, the President Price, uh, who's only been on the job since July 1st, has displayed an insatiable appetite for learning about what's going on at Duke and was both quick and en enthusiastic in accepting my invitation to speak to you today. So please join me in giving a vigorous welcome to President Vincent Price. Well, thank you, Brian. Uh, good morning to all of you. I'm delighted to be here and uh, say a few very brief words of welcome to you for this fabulous ninth annual energy conference. Uh, I'd like to begin by also extending my thanks to Liz and Yohai for their work in organizing the conference and all the members of the conference planning committee who have worked so very hard to make this event possible. I'm also very proud to report that this event, as you know, is entirely student organized, and uh, it stands, I think, as a great example of what a university can do when we mobilize the full resources of our students, faculty, and staff. I'd also like to acknowledge the Center for Energy Development and Global Environment at, uh, and the Duke University Energy Initiative and all of today's fabulous sponsors, uh, along with Jim and M.A. Rogers for their generous support of our university energy programs. Uh, now, as many of you may know, Duke has a long history of engagement in energy issues. The Duke family uh, invested in hydroelectricity in North Carolina, which then played a very significant role in helping to drive the textile and manufacturing booms of the early part of the 20th century. Uh, and in turn, that investment helped provide the seed money for the creation of this university. We are in many ways an institution that has always been powered by creative energy solutions. And today, we maintain a very strong interest in the energy future of North Carolina uh, and, indeed, the world. And we recognize the importance uh, for our collective economic, environmental, and social welfare. I think what sets Duke's energy initiatives apart is their deep interdisciplinary character. Our degree programs encourage our students interested in energy to take classes across the schools and to pursue joint degrees, demonstrating that the best solution to our pressing energy problems is not likely to be confined within specific 
disciplines or approaches to study. We strive to give students an opportunity to consider the full range of scientific, market-based, and public policy implications of developing uh, useful energy policies. And at the same time, Duke faculty are conducting groundbreaking research. Here on campus, we have faculty members who are developing new energy materials and technologies, sharing expertise in energy economics and policy to inform decision making, willing data analytics and machine learning to answer somewhat intractable questions, and helping to improve energy access in communities around the world. Through those kinds of initiatives, we now offer six energy-specific degrees and certificates with courses that are taught by 130 industry leaders and academic experts. And so far, we've supported over 1,400 interdisciplinary energy students, and we're looking forward to continuing to expand these popular programs moving forward. So energy is very much a critical part of Duke's future and a critical part of our responsibility as a world-leading institution of higher learning. Clearly, we have a lot going on when it comes to energy research and engagement at Duke. I want to thank you again for being here and being part of the larger community engaged in these critical issues and for your willingness to devote your time and your energy, your collective intellectual wattage, we might say, to this effort. So once again, welcome to Duke and please enjoy this productive conference. Thank you.